Hi everyone, this is Jonathan Grummer, and uh, I'm out here at the lake. I wanted to show y'all a doing an excuse me, doing an unboxing of some uh, gifts I got for Christmas. And uh, let's let's open this one first. So, as you can see. A rod <laughs> and uh, came with a protective sleeve or something to protect the tip of the rod which is awesome and then came in this pl plastic plastic long plastic black <laughs> black <laughs> long plastic bag and I know I just threw it on the ground I'm gonna pick it up I just wanted to put it down there for right now to show you this um, so this is a uh, Cajun seven foot three heavy fast action rod uh, Cajun Rods makes a line of rods called Atlid and they're made in the USA which is awesome and uh, it has this Fuji fu quality Fuji reel seat and uh, eyelets it even has a little uh, hook hook retainer so you can put your bait in this little hook down here. I'm gonna bring it up here real quick and, and, and show you the show you that real quick. So right there's the hook retainer. And then you can see that it says AT874-2S. So that's the code that the uh, Cajun rod knows to which rod uh, to send me. Um, you can put 10 to 30 pound braid on this rod, uh, which will, which is good for one fourth to one and one half ounce lures. So there's that. I'm gonna. Put that down for a second. And then we're going to pull out. This is the, the braid I'm going to be using. 30 pound braid. Power Pro braid. Powered by EBT. So that's what I'm using on the reel that I'm going to put it on. And <laughs> here's the reel. I'm going to put this on the ground real quick. So here's the reel. It actually comes with a list of parts for your reel and then a, a little pamphlet tells you how to how to how to take care of your reel so we're gonna put that back in the box and we'll take the reel out real quick real quick <laughs> I know, corny. Here, I want to sit on that baggage flying away. Anyways, here's the reel. I guess, okay, let's tighten this up real quick. There we go. So this is a Pin Pursuit 3. Uh, 
reel. It's a saltwater reel. This is also a saltwater rod. And uh, I'm gonna bring bring the the reel up to he, to you so you can see everything. So it's got kind of a rubber band right here. I don't know what that's used for. If you know, leave a comment down below. Here's the drag. That's the bale. And this is the well, whatever. <laughs> but uh, on the side here, it says you can use 15, 20, and 30 pound braid. Uh, 30 pound braid, which I'm going to put on here, it can hold up to 185 yards of, of braid, which is excellent uh, for saltwater fishing because uh, sometimes you hook into a shark and the shark will go off 100 yards from you and you have to bring that back in which I'll, I'll show you i'll show you a picture of a shark that i caught uh down in the gulf right here now i'm gonna put this on the rod real quick Just like so make sure make sure it can fit on there <laughs> and I'm sure it does and it does there we go awesome so now golly all this wind pardon the wind Give me a second. I'm gonna go pick up all the trash because it flew away. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to go pick this all up. It's kind of windy today. There. I'll take care of that later. So here's here's the the braid power pro 30 pound line got to take the little rubber band off which I like because it, it makes it easy for you to to get the line after you take it off and we're, we're gonna we're gonna feed this through the eyelets real quick down to the reel And to hurry this up, I'm going to uh, speed the film up here, speed the video up here now. Tighten the drag down real quick.
there we go. Put that on. Give me one minute, I'm gonna come right back. Well, for you, the one minute will be one second because I gotta go to my truck and get a hook and a knife to cut the line because I know I don't have a knife on me. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the line here real quick. And uh, I'm gonna tie on a gamas. <laughs> Forgive me if I butcher this this the pronunciation of this, but a uh, gamakatsu, gamakatsu octopus circle hook. It's a five aught size five aught. Show you the. We're going to open this up and I'm going to tie on a hook like this. So you're probably wondering why I have a salt water, <laughs> why I have a salt water rod and reel and I'm putting on a circle hook. Well. Here very soon, in the near future, I'm going to be saltwater fishing. In fact, I'm going to be saltwater fishing on my birthday, which, by the way, is on Texas Independence Day. <laughs> so, uh, if you like, feel free to put a comment uh, down in the down below saying happy birthday to me. By the way, uh, I'll be I'll be 47, and I'm gonna be 47 for the next 10 years from the time that I became 47. So. <laughs> So I actually turned 47 this last March 2nd, and I'm gonna stay 47 till I'm 57. So there you have it. Just tied on this circle hook. And uh, and as I was showing you, well, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> this is real fishing. I got the line all tangled around the reel. That that's that's real fishing. So, <laughs> here we go. We're just gonna put that in the hook saver, and there we go. So stay tuned. Very near future. Uh, I will be saltwater fishing in the Gulf of Mexico on my birthday, which is Texas Independence Day. So, God bless. Stay tuned. Get your reel on and let's go fishing. Mm -hmm.